hands in the background as you can see they're full of movement honest we didn't make it oh no I just want to show that it's real <laughs> Guess where we are? We made it! We are in... New Zealand. Aotearoa. Aotearoa. Look at this view. This, this land has been calling us for some time now. And we're finally here with family and friends. Anyone want to say hello? Whoa! <laughs> So they predicted rain, obviously storms, thunderstorms, and they never happened. So look at this sky. It's amazing. Put it on your disc, guys. Definitely. Mm. Sooner rather than later. Sooner rather than later. Because once the old world starts getting open again. Mm. Which mostly it has. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're enjoying it. So enjoy our trip because we are going to be in New Zealand for the next six months. Woohoo! <laughs> See you later guys! Hi guys! Hi! So we're in Auckland in New Zealand, yay New Zealand! And um, we are going van shopping for the second day, we didn't film the first one. It's raining again and um, we are 50-50 as to see how this is going to go so we're at the time of the year where a lot of foreigners are coming over to um, buy vans because all the backpackers buy vans to get around um, so the market is very fast moving so our budget is not great but it's a little bit better than some um, and we find it very hard to get exactly what we want and we want a fixed toilet that's that was our that's our main thing in a couple of years so we figured it would be easy to sell if it's got a fixed toilet 
yeah so we have to make sure it's got a, a, a long woof which is like the MRT equivalent, equivalent to MRT you re-register when you buy the van so the registration thing can obviously be up to date and then you have to have a certificate to say that you are self-contained which is a blue sticker which is like gold dust in the sense of you can't just fling a mattress in the back and a porta potty and call yourself self-contained you just that's, that's the driving is interesting in new zealand to say the least it's even it's, the walking is quite interesting yeah twice i've almost Turn got killed onto Saint <clears throat> crossing on a crossing then people just did see me we've been spending time with our family which has been lovely, we just chilled a bit because it was a long flight. Yeah, we brought the nag with us. Yeah, we brought the nag with us because, like, you know, we couldn't leave her at home. Yeah, so we will let you know how we get on. We might be able to film some, not sure, but we'll we'll show you the van if we buy it. Just to let you know, we are borrowing our daughter's car, a Subaru, and um, it's very comfortable, I have to say. It's old, so old, oh, yeah, right? So in New Zealand, they don't have in two and a half vehicles. kilometers. Turn left onto Ethelrunner Avenue. So, to import a new vehicle into New Zealand is very, very, very expensive. So most of the vehicles in New Zealand are 10-ish years, ten -ish years old, at in, least. Yeah, imported from Japan because they drive on the same side as road as in the UK and in New Zealand. But yeah, they're, they're pretty old, to say the least. But a 10-year-old vehicle is kind of newish. So if you want a new, new vehicle, they are really expensive, really expensive. This car <coughs> is a 2003 and it's done 275,000 kilometers. It still runs well. Yeah, it still runs good. And it's comfortable. Anyway, we will see you later. So we actually started to look for a van um, up the second week of arriving to New Zealand. We haven't got really any footage because people didn't want us to record them, which is fair enough. We looked at probably a dozen vans and we come across one we absolutely loved but unfortunately we had to wait two weeks before we could pick it up for a few issues but then when we finally did good morning good morning so today hopefully it's an excited day yeah i don't know why he's so calm i'm so excited yeah we're, ho we're hoping to go and pick up our van today um it's been a struggle anyway we've been traveling around a lot by bus and um, there's no direct routes because of the way Auckland works. There's no direct route, so it's, it's a bit of a circular route. But we've been coming up on the. Uh, we took the NX1 from Britomar, which is like the main station in the town centre, to a bus station. And once you get out of the city, you're basically in your own bit of road. I mean, you know, yeah, it's a bus only road. Um, so we were looking down on the motorway, which was fairly congested. And the only trouble is at the moment, the last bus we got to take, three bus during the last bus we got to take, is every hour, so we got a bit of time in the man. And the chap just texted us to say, because it was going to be quite a walk, um, he's going to pick us up from where we're getting off, yay! <laughs> I'm super excited. I got to make not sleep very very well last night because it's starting to feel like Christmas. Might be ten days early, but it feels like Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously we're gonna do um a bus not bus, uh, a van tour. Um so stay tuned for that. And um yeah, hope you're all doing really well. Um you'll probably see this in the new year. Yeah, but, definitely. Yeah, I mean, definitely the new, new Year's a couple of weeks away. Yeah. Weeks away, so. And hopefully by then we've done a bit of travelling and what have you. But yeah, hope you're all doing well. And um, yeah, hope Merry you had Christmas. a good Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good New Year. Yeah. So we'll see you later. See ya. Good afternoon from good. Orotoroa. Aotearoa, yeah. Aotearoa, Aotearoa. Hopefully I said that right. So New Zealand, for some of you that know it, it's New Zealand. A beautiful country and Aotearoa means land of the long white cloud white cloud yeah um, and today we're lucky no white clouds there's well a bit, there's a few white clouds yeah there's a bit of wind as well so hopefully yeah. you can hear us all right yeah. and guess what we got exciting news we have got a van yep 
Yep, we got a van. It took a, it took a few weeks doing. We saw quite a few vans. We saw this one, and at the end of the day, it's what we wanted. We had to wait for a few things to be done on it. And we got the van. Yeah. And it's now time for a van tour. Sure. Yeah. Come with us. Yes. So, it came with an awning. Uh, so we were on a site, so we thought we'd put the awning up. And, and it's um, huge. It's huge, yeah, look at this. And we've guesstimated it's about six by... Ten, six something. by ten inside, which is big enough for a couple of people to sleep in as well. The van is a transit, yeah, full transit, um, high cube. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. So this means it needs to have a wolf, which is the equivalent of an MLT, every six months, yeah. and it's in really good nick as well. Yeah. So Kevin's just going to explain to you what all these things on the front mean. Um, the MOT or the wolf lasts six months, and the, what they call the Rego, which is our ver version of the tax, lasts a year. This is the Rego. As you can see, it expires in a couple of weeks. Um, the Woof expires in, a, in about three weeks. So we've got a bit of work to do. And they also, because diesel is not taxed at source, any diesel vehicle has to pay what they call road, road user charges. Yep. Um, I'm not too sure how much they are at the moment, but you buy them in blocks of... 10,000 kilometers. Oh, it's, it's no, a thousand kilometers. Oh, well, yeah, that's, sorry, it's a thousand kilometers. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's all kilometers over here. Yeah, um, and I think it's about seven cents a kilometer. I'm, I'm hoping it's not because that makes it really expensive, mm. but that's something else you've got to do. Yeah, at the moment, they've got a bit of a deal on to the end of January and it's reduced um, from the 31st of January. They might extend it. We've heard a few whispers that they might extend it. Um, but you have to buy it in advance. You can't drive, is that right? No, that's, that's it. So in arrears. If, if you, so you have to have these road users charges and you have to have them in credit. You can't drive, drive in, in arrears. So you just got to guess how many, how many miles you're going to do and, and put them on as you go. Also, with camper vans, um, all the rules are changing in 2026, but at the moment, um, as long as your vehicle has got a sink, the ability to carry some water and some waste, and a loo, um, you can get what they call self-contained, which allows you to park in most places. Mm -hmm. um, and they give you a little sticker. And which looks like this. So our one's gonna expire on October 2025, 20, and it, it is um, for four people. That's because the size of the water and the waste that um, it can be hold, it holds. So it's all a little bit technical. So when you come to New Zealand, these are the sort of things that you need to be looking into, understand. Um, most of the vehicles, unless you've got a lot of money, are old. They're all imported from Japan. So in Japan, I think it's once they get to, is it 10 years? Yeah, when they get about 10 years old, there's yeah. a major MOT. So that, yeah. what they do is they just export them over Yeah, here. they export them over to New Zealand because New Zealand hasn't really got um, a, a car industry. Everything is obviously is imported. Yeah. So he's that a beautiful fan. We haven't yeah. named it It's yet. in pretty good nick. There's a tiny few bits of rust, but it's not too much of a problem. But it's something that we might have to look at on the wharf. Do you want to explain what the yeah. cupboards are for? So we've gone back to um, a cassette toilet. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. I have used on a cassette so toilet. it's in there. This is where the electric comes in. Put a hook up. And obviously we've only just got it. And we're on the campsite just so we can test out the electric. As it happens, it doesn't really do anything at the moment. <laughs> um, it runs the plugs in there, but that's it. Yeah. And have in here that's it we've gone back to bottle back to bottle you can't buy lpg um, to fill up i don't think they do refill no i don't think they do um, and if they did you'd have to pay tax on them anyway because anything that's not taxed at source is subject to these road user charges this is the original heater and that is for the water that's the water heater in, in there mm -hmm. there is a, another gas heater in there for the space heater hopefully because we're in the summer as you can see, there is a satellite dish which we'll probably never use because we took the one off of our van as some of you viewers that have been following us for some time know we took that off and put extra solar on. There is a, there is a solar panel. Yeah, there is a solar panel up there. Um, it's 100 watts. So it just about keeps up the batteries. Um, yeah, so you can see the problem that we've got. So these are the boards that make up the bed. So we've got a little bit of storage under here. And Kevin has put an inverter. 
in the van. Do you want to tell them about the inverter? Yeah. This time we got what we wanted. We got a 600 watt inverter, which is good enough. Mm. Um, and that runs off of 220 amp hour AGM batteries. Um, so that will give us all the power. Unfortunately, of course, with the NAF solar panel on the roof, there's not enough solar up there to keep the batteries up. So we also had to install a B2B. A B2B. All the windows are tinted, which is good. Helps with the heat, helps with um, a bit of privacy. Let's leave them open and let's take them into our lovely van. Yeah. So, as I said, there is no name at the moment. So anybody that wants to name the van, okay, um, drop a name in the comments and the one that we will pick, we will send a sticker pack and maybe a little something from New Zealand. You never know. Make it original, but not too weird. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the inside of the awning. As you can see, it's pretty big. I'm not going to spend too much time in here because with number one, it's hot and number two, it's dark. But what I thought was really natty was this thing here. Um, the buttons come undone there, but it covers the wheel truck. Stop the breeze. What a good idea. And in we go. I've had to put a step down because like, just helps me. Excuse the rubbish there, but it's a good place for it. So we put something on the back of the seat. This is the cab. It is manual, which we've been driving on automatic for some time now. So it's been very interesting to say the least. Yeah. But it's not too bad. Um, I've only driven it on a little test drive. Kevin's done all the driving um, for a couple of reasons, but um, it's not yeah. too bad. Um, she's an old girl, and it's me takes a bit or the van. The van. The van. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 350,000 ish kilometers, which by New Zealand standards is just running really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just take it easy. Um, on a good day with the wind behind us going slightly downhill, we can get to 100 kilometers. Woohoo! Takes some effort though, a bit of a build up. It does. So, there's hooks everywhere which we haven't taken off. We've got some storage over the cab, which is huge. So, we've got three of these crates in here, and this one here goes all the way back over the crate. So, got bits and bobs that we don't use too, too often in there. There's windows all around the van on one side. Kevin installed this little shelf for me for little knickknacks and what have you. We have a solar fridge. 12 volt compressor fridge, um, which runs off the leisure batteries. Um, and obviously all the, the solar and when we're driving along that charges the leisure batteries. But yeah, um, everything in this van runs on the leisure batteries. Other than the two um, main sockets that you're going to see, um, everything else in here is 12 volt. So we've got the fridge, it's got a little um, freezer compartment, you don't need to see inside the fridge, it's a fridge. And we have a free cooker, free burner cooker. There you go, not too bad, no oven this time. And I've already fancy, been fancying some um, baked potatoes. More storage. At the moment it's the spice cupboard, bits and pieces, tea, coffee and all of that. We've got another um, storage down here. As you can see, there's quite a lot in there. Saucepan and oven gloves. Now I bought oven gloves, what are... Uh, there's no oven, but you know, it might come in handy. Obviously got a nice breeze through the back door. Bit of artwork my beautiful daughter bought me. So this is my clothes cupboard. So we're on a mini break at the moment. Um, we've taken it away for a couple of days just to see what needs doing. Apart from all the bits that Kevin's already done. This is Kevin's cupboard. And he put the shelves that are in there because there was no shelves. It was just one big space. And um, we're going to decide what else needs doing before we go on a big trip. So underneath here, we've got the laser batteries underneath here. Underneath there we've got the water tank and um, a little bit more storage and um, we've got um, a box of tools. What else we've got under there? Um, the heater. That's, that's under yeah, that side. Heater. Under this side um, is where we store the bedding. Yep, so there's three pillows, two quilts and two sheets in there. And under here, believe it or not, is what that big awning fits under and the chairs. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. our chairs, awning um, and all the, all the stuff like that. So, yep. yeah. 
this is solar controller it's just a, a cheap solar controller it came with a van i'm not going to bother to change it over because everything you'll find it when it comes to new zealand is is a lot more expensive than it is in europe yeah um, and if we were going to be staying here longer and this van was newer um, there would be an argument to put on some extra solar and a decent controller mm -hmm. so that's the satellite um controller that, yep that's the satellite you, you have to turn that one around to see where it's going so we bought this basket for fruit from veg and um well, i've stuck bread on it got myself a little terrarium it's a not um it's a bit steamed up at the moment tea towels there and underneath there it is a tv there's a microwave that's okay for um when you are hooked up oh yes yeah, the other that's the only other thing that works on on hookup is the microwave but we, we think we yeah. don't know we haven't tried it yet yep and you know i don't use the microwave and in, in our other van i took it out and it's very useful for storage but i'm going to leave it in because we're only going to have it for six months so it has got a water pump you hear it come on it's a bit noisy but it's all good so we've got the cutlery drawer we've got another cupboard here kevin put this shelf in because it was just one deep cupboard and everything was on top of one another and i had a bit of a wobbly and i said no nope, that's it so we bought this stick about plastic so i'm just going to push this to the side and i've got an extra bit of work surface there and i thought it looks quite nice what with the shelf that kevin made yeah um obviously we've got a skylight and the pistol assistance or pistol assistance <laughs> we have let's turn the light on a toilet and a shower now i'm not gonna lie it's a bit of a squeeze to say the least but it does the job and at the end of the day what else do you need to do in there except for yeah um, exactly that your bits and bobs there's no sink in there so we have to use the kitchen sink and um, that, that's where the rules are changing in 2025 stroke 26 um, at the moment you can just have the ability to go to the go to the loo so that they have portal pot is they stick them in a box they stick them in the back of the motor and they never get used but as of 25 stroke 26 um, the toilets have got to be fixed um, so effectively what we've got here so all in all, pretty good. Yep. Standard cab layout, five speed gearbox, radio doesn't work, clock does now work. Change the fuse. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, that's it. Um, it's very comfortable. The seats are so uh, much more comfortable yeah, than, than, ours. than ours on our <laughs> modern one. B to B's so. down nice here. And easy to, nice and easy to set up. Um, yeah, what, yeah. Can't say, I can't really say any much more than that. Um, you know, two wires to the back to the to the car battery, two wires to the um, as your battery is still around. Yep, curtains goes all the way around. Bye. Yep. So <laughs> apart from the a few odd bits and pieces, practically everything could come um, with what you needed. It's just um, me being me. Just wanted a few extra bits and just wanted to make it more. Um, user friendly for us well no not more willow i mean like this shelf this was just a like empty space here so kevin was going to put a shelf there as well but i said well no because of the heat but i said yeah put one there for sure and sticky back plastic it's only made from um, a part of a cardboard box but it does the job and as you can see little bits and bobs fit in there and we really like it so the boards that you saw that behind the doors um fit along here and this bit of cushion fits here and we had our first night sleep in it and it was all right actually yeah. um we had to put the tea towel over the light on the fridge because this tiny blue light lights up the whole van yet yeah. <laughs> you put these ones on and they don't <laughs> so yeah that that was quite funny and it um circulates every few minutes so I'll get used to it it's just one of those things so that's our van um tour short but sweet yep anything else you want to add my love no no just give us a like give us a follow give us a subscribe and uh come along with us on our journey around new, new zealand. zealand we're going to do Arotoro. the north island yep Arotoro. we're going to do the north island first 
And then we're going to do the South, South Island. Islands. I'm just going to stand up there. Okay, come. Yeah, so then we're going to do the South, South Island. Islands. So we, we're probably going to be travelling for five months. So yeah. if you want to see about a bit of New Zealand, if you've always wondered about New Zealand, um, c come along on the journey with us. It is a bit different here. I'm not going to say it's not. Food is extremely expensive. I'll give you, uh, for instance, I bought four tomatoes for four dollars fifty, which is two pounds twenty-five English, roughly. Yep. Um, yeah. So like, it and cherries. Is don't even talk about cherries. <sighs> They're like forty-five dollars a kilo. Forty-five dollars. But hey, it's, it's it is what it is. So you know, we're not going to be whinging poms. Um, we're just going to make the most of it and have an amazing time. One other thing as well, if you like swimming in the sea with me, please, please check the water guide daily because the rip tides and um, the warnings that come, it changes almost hourly. So if you're going to go for a swim, just have a little internet search and see if it's safe to do so. And just keep an eye on the waves. You, 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 rip tides, obviously, if you've got the waves are coming straight in, you, you, you're yeah. gonna, not going to be too bad. But if they start coming in at different angles or if mm. they come in at right angles to each other, then that's give really, it a miss. I mean, yeah. it's probably better to swim in lakes than it is in the sea, if that's if that's your thing. Um, and um, yeah, as I say, that it's, it's quite windy as well on, around New Zealand. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's stuck out in the middle of the, of the Pacific stroke, Tasman stroke, Antarctic, something like that. Seas. Yeah, I think there's three different seas um, So it. yeah, you get some really strong currents and tides. So just be That's another thing that's expensive. So for two nights with electric was $96. So we will see you again soon, guys. Thanks for joining us and um, we hope you enjoyed it. Short but sweet. And um, we'll see you again soon. Yep. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.